gonna pop into the sport mode as we go over the train tracks. Yeah, suspension's so good on this. Oh, there's a big puddle there. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going over the all new Lexus ES300H. Before getting this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Lexus here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this ES. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder paired to a hybrid system and an ECVT. Fuel economy is 43 around town and then 44 on the highway with power outputs being 215 horsepower combined. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see we've got sharp lines there on either side and I love this metallic gray. And then popping down below, you guys can see the Lexus daytime running lights that mimic the logo in terms of shape. And then notice we have parking sensors on the front end and the grille design is pretty cool. It's like this metallic gray, but then you got the chrome all around with the Lexus logo down the center. And putting it all together, I think it's a pretty cool looking car. Our tire and wheel setup is 235, 45, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the coloration, you got the silver on the top with the metallic gray below that. I think it looks pretty cool. And then you guys will notice that that trim actually matches like the chrome trim you have around the windows. And then notice how the mirror caps have like the chrome trim and then they're also kind of like blacked out. Pretty cool with the two-tone design. So here's our key fob. You guys can see you've got the lock function, the unlock function, the opening here for the trunk. And then we have the Lexus logo there on the back. So we'll just hold this down and bada bing bada boom. Actually popping into the trunk of the ES, you guys can see that it's quite spacious and that's one of the big benefits of the ES is well, it's a practical car from a storage space perspective. But when you're all done, you just gotta Clap. We got the cool taillights here that again mimic the Lexus logo and then you guys can see low profile spoiler there at the top and then notice we got our ES300H badge right here and then more parking sensors at the bottom. And then putting it all together you guys can see this is a really handsome looking vehicle. Now with the back door panel, you guys can see really nice leather trim here and then look at the stitching and then you got the wood trim that goes across and then you can see more of that leather padding down below. We do have a little bit of piano black trim though which is pretty interesting but there's the door. And then with the seats look at the stitching and then notice perforated leather all down the center portion of the seat and then really nice stitching there on the side too. Leg room here in the back is really solid. You guys can see you've got a little storage pocket here. We've got some vents here in the rear and then you can see with the USBs and the 12 volt. And that headroom is really solid. And look at this. We got a cup holder armrest. Now with the front door pen, you guys will notice really nice leather trim yet. Again, we've got our wood trim here at the top and then look at the stitching down below. Memory seat functionality. And then we have all of our window controls right here with our mirror adjustment. The mirrors do power fold in and they've got blind spot monitoring. Now with the front seat, you can see really nice leather trim. Again, notice perforated all down the center portion of the seat. And then there are the power adjustments on the side. Well, pretty normal pedal layout down below. And then you guys can see we've got the trunk release and then we got the gas cap release as well. And then the steering wheel is power adjustable. So with the steering wheel, we got really nice leather trim all around. You've got paddle shifters for that ECVT that does come with adaptive cruise control as well as lane keep assist. We got our volume voice command controls as well and then controls for the center stack. And then we have our turn signal light stock and then our windshield wiper stock. So we've got this cool gauge cluster here. Notice you've got some analog elements, but then also some digital elements as well. And um, first off here on the side, I can actually scroll through some different uh, menus, see different bits of info on the vehicle, pretty standard stuff. But the fun party trick is when you change the drive modes. So notice when I pop into eco mode, nothing really happens. And then you got like a normal mode. And then when I pop into sport mode, that's when things get exciting. For those of you wondering, you have a stock here for the drive mode on the one side, and then you got the stability control on the other side. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. With the rest of the infotainment system, the screen is actually pretty dang large. Um, response time with the screen is pretty good. It does take a second for some menus to load up. Um, but aside from that, this is Lexus slash Toyota's new infotainment screen they have in like all of their cars, and I'd say I'm a pretty big fan.
Now remember this dark grainy wood trim here on the door panel? Well, that is also there on the dash. That's what that little dark bar is. And notice how it connects there on the dash. I think that looks pretty cool. And you got some nice stitching and padding as well. So we have dual zone climate controls here for the front. And then you guys can see all of our analog radio controls. And guess what? Not only does it have automatic climate controls, but it has automatic heated seats, cooled seats and a heated steering wheel. So basically what this means is you set everything to auto and this car will, you know, basically do the fan stuff on auto, but then also the seats on auto. I don't know. It's just a cool feature. So we got this random little storage area and then we've got this tab right here with the USBs and then you can press it again and then it'll cover it. We got some cup holders here and then we have the shifter for that ECVT. It does again have that manual function. You got your auto hold here and then you've got your EV mode. And then notice here, we've got our wireless phone charging pad as well. And then with the center console, got some USBs in there, 12 volts, decent storage space. And then like, look at the nice padding here and then the kind of like line that goes across, pretty cool. Almost forgot, we got a glove box and the outside of the glove box has some nice padding on it. And then up top here, you guys can see the controls for the sunroof and yeah, it's got a sunroof. So here's our window sticker for this ES. If you're wondering, this color is called Cloudburst Gray. Pretty cool color. Now, base MSRP is 42,540. This has a few options added to it. After all options, this one stickers for 48,985. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors just do a blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear. And with that being said, well, we're gonna try something new. We're just gonna set off instead of doing our like jump, cut, clip, whatever you wanna call it. And I guess we'll have the infotainment system pulled up here. Let's see if I can do, let's go to the vehicle tab. Got trip information here. Huh, let's go to settings, do, do, do. Huh, sometimes on the hybrids, maybe I'm missing it, but sometimes on the hybrids, you'll be able to see you know, like, um, let's actually just clear the data so you guys can get fresh stuff. But sometimes you'll be able to see like the energy flow and everything. Sequoia TRD Pro, pretty cool looking. It's obviously the old body style, but it still looks cool. We're actually gonna turn the heated steering wheel off of auto. It keeps the seats on auto though, which is cool. So like you can have one thing on auto, but you don't have to have everything on auto. So actually getting up and moving just like pretty much every single modern Lexus, it is so smooth with the ride quality and the seat comfort's also amazing as well. Uh, that's something that I just love about Lexus cars and SUVs too. So they're just so comfortable. Lexus really knows how to make a great luxury car. Really quiet as well with the cabin insulation. Um, I think they've just done a great job overall. Our average speed, 10 miles an hour. A whopping 10 miles an hour, that's so fast. But yeah, it's, it's smooth. Let's actually pop it into the eco mode and see how that feels different. Um, and by the way, the braking on this feels pretty much like a regular car. It doesn't feel weird in any way. So that is definitely a plus. Good torque overall out of this powertrain. Turn in's pretty good as well. I love the feeling of the steering wheel. Very like smooth. Look at those three cops in a row. Ooh, nothing to see here, officer. Just reviewing cars. Um, but anyways, <laughs> It's, it is really good. Like this is just such a smooth powertrain actually. And we're in the EV setting right now. So yeah, no engine on, quiet, just cruising. I mean, who wouldn't want this? This is, this is the definition of luxury. So we're gonna pop into the sport mode as we go over the train tracks. Yeah, suspension's so good on this. Oh, there's a big puddle there. Yeah, it's got good, it's got good power, honestly, for what this is. It pops into EV, even in sport mode, it like tries to prioritize popping into EV mode, which I think is pretty cool. I love how it's like, like it's so funny, like RPMs in sport mode, but then in normal mode, it's like, oh, are you charging? Are you being economical? Like what's happening? It's so funny how it shows the different information. But summing things up here with this ES300H, um, I think that it's a good looking car um, overall. I think that it drives really well. Man, there's so many deep puddles over here. They probably need to uh, fix the uh, drainage. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I just think it's it's really comfortable. I think it looks really nice. Um, interior's nice as well. Again, considering the price point, like you're getting quite a bit of car. And then it's very economical. Um, obviously this is not like an insane, you know, high performance car or anything like that. But that's not why you get this. You get this because it gets good fuel economy and because it's comfortable. Like this is just a really good commuter um, is the best way to look at it. 
and I yeah I, I see that as very uh, appealing and you know if you want especially if you like drive a lot of miles like I do something like this is really awesome because it's like you can again it it's pretty affordable um, in terms of the sales price and then because you get better gas mileage you know it, it helps out with uh, doing that and then obviously you get to spend all those miles in comfort zone. Let me know what you guys think about the new ES. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Lexus ES 300H. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Lexus here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this ES. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. I'll see ya.